Denora, Pennsylvania, a town that was previously known as a steel mill workers haven, is now commonly known as the home of champions. Denora didn't receive this name without reason though, as the town is very well known for breeding champions, but one stands above the rest. Blue Kaz and Mary Musial emigrated from Poland to Denora because of its countless job opportunities, including the thriving steel mill industry. Despite providing employment for countless immigrants, the steel mill industry was notorious for the many dangers that its workers endured while on the job, like exposure to toxic chemicals and even fires. Therefore, many steel workers discouraged their children from entering this physically demanding and often unsafe occupation, including the family of the Nora's best, Stan Musial. November 21st, 1920, halfway up the hill on 6th Street in Denora, in a modest two-story house, Lou Kaz and Mary Musial added to their family when Mary gave birth to a son. They would name him Stanislaw Franciszek Musial, who we now know as Stan the Man. At a young age, Lou Kaz would start Stan at the Polish Falcon's Nest 247. This Polish social club promotes fitness and participates in track and field along with gymnastics meets around the Northeast United States against the other Falcon clubs. This is where Stan's athletic journey would begin and he would receive his first athletic uniform and would start to build up his coordination. Playing these club sports allowed Stan to pick up great timing and strength that would propel him into his two favorite sports, basketball and baseball. Stan was an incredible player in both sports throughout his life, especially through his high school years. Like the other steelworkers, Stan's father hoped that Stan could make a living for himself through sports or even get into college to receive an education to escape that difficult and dangerous lifestyle. Stan began to turn heads on the baseball field early in his career when he played for the Denora Zinks, a local semi-professional team managed by his mentor, Joe Barbo, who would become a lifelong friend of Stan's and would also be responsible for honing many of Stan's baseball talents. At 15 years old, Stan was a standout player on the Zinks, both on offense and defense. When it came time to choose his career path, he had the opportunity to attend the University of Pittsburgh to play basketball on scholarship or follow his love of baseball. Stan abided by his father's wishes and his love of the sport and chose the risk of baseball. From there, Stan's tenure in the Zinx would be enough to earn a tryout on Manesson's Page Park where the St. Louis Cardinals would sign Stan as a pitcher that had the ability to be a great batsman. Stan would start his career as a pitcher but would fail to settle in as a reliable one. So the Cardinals would move him to the outfield where he would begin his journey into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Stan is now considered one of the top 10 greatest players to ever grace the baseball field and his legacy will live on for generations to come. The Nora continues his legacy throughout the town with the Stan Musial Bridge, Stan Musial Baseball Field, and various landmarks in his honor. I guess you could say it's not that bad for a son of a steel mill worker.